Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. I've been quite impressed with Gibson's main 2017 lineup so far, so I figure it's time to give a proper Firebird a go. Let's take a closer look at the Gibson Firebird Studio 2017T.
So this guitar is kind of an odd looking thing. It has the classic Firebird shape in a Sam Ash exclusive purple color they're calling Heather Polly, which I actually really like. It was one of the main reasons I chose to do a video on this guitar. Unlike most Firebirds, the 2017 Studio has a non-reverse headstock. It looks kind of weird at first, since most come with a reverse headstock, but you get used to it. It has a set mahogany slim taper neck with a 12 inch rosewood fingerboard. The large mahogany body is actually pretty thin and the entire guitar only weighs about six and a half pounds. Despite the relatively light weight, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It actually feels genuinely well built. When it comes to hardware specs, there aren't really any surprises. It comes with Gibson's aluminum tunematic bridge and tailpiece combination, as well as Grover mini tuners. Grovers are usually really nice. They're smooth, accurate, and hold the guitar solidly in tune. These ones are a slightly different story. They're kind of jumpy, and I was never really confident the guitar was fully in tune. Generally, Grovers are really good tuners, so I'm guessing I just got them lucky. Moving on to Tono, the 496T and R humbuckers might just have become my favorite Gibson pickups. They're powerful, full sounding, and have that signature punch and clarity of high quality ceramic pickups. Here's what they sound like dirty through my Mesa dual rectifier. for some cleans. I dig these pickups a lot. They have such a nice, natural, crunchy, hard rock sound. They clean up nicely, and with the gain turned up, they're capable of handling the heavier stuff too. When I imagine a Gibson in my head, this is what it sounds like. Gibson, more models with these pickups, please, they're awesome. Now the Firebird Zero not only sounds great, but it also plays very, very well. The action on this particular model is nice and low, how I like it. The neck has a comfortable slim taper neck shape, and the rosewood fingerboard has my preferred 12 inch fingerboard radius. Overall, it makes for a guitar that looks unique, but also offers a very familiar playing experience. As I said at the beginning, I really enjoyed the Gibson guitars from the main 2017 lineup, and that continues to be the case with the Firebird Studio T. The only downside is the price. Now to be clear, this is a really good guitar. It looks cool, at least in my opinion, it sounds cool, and it's very well built. Whether it's $400 more than the Les Paul Tribute T, I'm not sure. No, 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 it's a different shape, so it's not exactly apples to apples, but still same company, same model year, and honestly, quality-wise, they feel very similar. I much prefer the pickups in the Firebird Studio, and for some reason, Gibson isn't selling the 496T Bridge as a standalone aftermarket part, 
but that's a good deal of extra money to pay for a unique shape and a cool bridge pickup. Then again, if you're a huge Firebird fan, it might be worth it. Oh yeah, and it has that signature Gibson vanilla smell, which is definitely a plus. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guitar, so leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Sam Ash for making this guitar available and to Pad for mixing the demo track. Pad now has his own channel, so check that out. Huge shout out to Reese for lending her vocals to the demo track, which is actually a song we wrote together when we were in a band. If you want to download that or just support what I do on this channel, check out my Patreon. Pricing, availability, links to everything I just mentioned are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Gibson Firebird Zero. No, it is not. This is the Gibson Firebird Studio 2017T, and I will see you for the next video.